Hey everybody, the Bonga's back. Welcome to part 10 of Let's Play Yu-Gi-Oh! World Championship Tournament 2004 bonus footage. Okay, this is the 10th and final challenge run video I'm going to do for this particular Let's Play. And I decided to go with a ritual themed deck. The reason why I don't have all ritual monsters is that some of them actually do work with the monsters I have. Like the reason I got Goddess with a Third Eye and Versago the Destroyer is that I actually plan to try to get Thousand Eyes Restrict by fusing Thousand Eyes Idol and Relinquished. But if I don't have Thousand Eyes Idol, I can use any of these two monsters as substitutes along with Relinquished. Or maybe Thousand Eyes Idol, that, that could work, or Thousand Eyes Restrict. That being said, I don't have every single Ritual Monster, just the ones that I plan to use. Such as Hungry Burger, Skull Guardian, Chakra, Magician of Black Chaos, for sure. I think I have Black Luster Soldier, do I? No, I, I didn't go with Black Luster Soldier, I went with Masked Beast instead. Even though Black Luster Soldier would be considered better, I don't want to go too far. Sinju of the Thousand Hands and Sonic Bird are both going to be very reliable. In fact, I'll just have one less. You know, so I'll have two of each. Shining Angel and Flying Kamakiri number one, if they're destroyed in battle, can be used to special summon any of these two monsters, which once they are summoned, regardless of how- okay, excluding special summon, that's unfortunate. I can move one ritual monster card from my hand, or one ritual spell card, in the case of the Sonic Bird. And I add a Needle Wall for some extra insurance in case things go horribly wrong. Okay, so since this is the final video, I'll try to have two or three duels. Wow. This is gonna be a bloodbath. I don't know for who, because if I don't get the right cards, I could be screwed. What is it with anime women and tentacles? They always seem to go hand in hand with each other. Ooh, I can bring in Relinquish right now, but the thing is, I don't have Polymerization. If I had Polymerization, I definitely would go for a Thousand Eyes Restrict right about now. Let's see... Hamburger Recipe... No, I can't play it. Because I don't have the right amount of cards. I can't bring in Relinquished either, so I guess I have to use Versago the Destroyer. And just use it to take out the Tentacle Plant. Because Tana is getting a bit too friendly with tentacles. I'm doing this for her own good. <sighs> Hentai joke. Uh, sip my coffee while she has her turn. At least I won't be have to, having to worry about being attacked so much. Uh, I can bring in Chakra right now. May not exactly be a bad idea. But, at the same time, I don't want to get rid of Relinquished. Because if I play Resurrection of Chakra, I have to get rid of Hungry Burger, and probably Versago Destroyer, or Relinquished, and I don't want to do that. Actually, I got a better idea. I might have to get rid of Hungry Burger. It's unfortunate, but I think it's going to be better to do it that way. So I decided to Special Summon Tentacle Plant, so I have something else to sacrifice. Resurrection of Chakra. I will get rid of Hungry Burger, so that's six stars. And I need at least one more. So there goes Tentacle Plant. Now Chakra can be special summoned. So now I got a little bit of damage. Yes, yeah, so in case you don't know how to use Ritual Monsters, that's how. And that's also a good reason why I don't like using Ritual Monsters in my deck, because it requires a little bit of work to bring them in. Even though they are quite powerful. That's pretty much my style. I was never one that liked to use Ritual Monsters. Relinquish would probably be, be the only exception. Because it's a very low cost. And you can use it to, like, power up Relinquish based on the monster you absorb. Okay, I assume that's Marie the Fallen One, or something else. Well, that's pretty much, like, a 100% guarantee that it's gonna be Relinquished or something else. I mean, uh, Marie the Fallen One or something else. 
So I used Chakra to attack it. It was a Marie the Fallen One. Which is good because Versago the Destroyer would not be able to destroy it. It wouldn't be able to live up to its name if it can't destroy a monster. It would just be an absolute misnomer. Okay, I want to be able to bring in Thousand Eyes Restrict. That would be pretty awesome. Magician of Black Chaos. I got three ritual monsters, but uh, no way to bring them in. Besides, I already got one on the field. Yeah, I think I'll let Versago destroy this one. Pot the trick. <laughs> Pot is tricky, okay. I think I gotta admit, out of the ritual monsters I do have, I think Chakra is pretty much the coolest. It's basically this one-eyed creature with very sharp claws. If you're not seeing it in the main Yu-Gi-Oh games, chances are if you got Yu-Gi-Oh Duelist of the Roses, you got a chance to see Chakra because I believe that was the. Uh, I don't know if it was the Deckmaster for Deckmaster for the final boss in one of the phases. The other one would, be, of course, be Skull Knight. But I do remember seeing Chakra in that game. Alright, so I'll play it safe by letting Chakra destroy that monster, and that was pretty much a waste of time. I'm just prolonging the duel that way. Numinous Healer? Whatever. Alright, I'm hoping to get Polymerization this turn. Nope, I get Skull Guardian. Actually, they may not be such a bad idea, because I can use Novox's Prayer to bring in Skull Guardian. So I gotta offer up at least seven stars. You know what, I'll get rid of the other Chakra. To bring in Skull Guardian, even though it's a little bit weaker, I'm still gonna do a nice bit of damage. So all in all, this is not a bad deck. I mean, it could be better. But at the same time, like, what more do you want me to do? Ah, uh, Kisetai. Good thing it's a latched on to the weakest monster. Now it's time to tear some ass. Good thing about this deck is if I can ritual summon a monster, chances are I have, like, another ritual monster card and I can use that for discarding. And most of the times, the Ritual Monsters have at least between 6 to 8 stars. Not counting Relinquished. So I can definitely pay a good bit. Oh, here we go! But will this work? It will work! Alright, Polymerization. I only got like one Fusion Monster, which is Thousand Eyes Restrict. Two monsters to use in the Fusion. Versago the Destroyer, that should take care of Kaseatai. And Relinquished. So now I'll definitely summon Thousand Eyes Restrict. And let's take a look at that ability, shall we? As long as this card remains face up on the field, other monsters cannot change their positions or attack. This monster can take on the attack and defense on one opponent's monster on the field. A face down monster results in attack and defense of zero. Treat this selected monster as an equipped spell card and use it to equip Thousand Eyes Restrict. You can only use this effect once per turn and can equip only one monster at a time. Okay, so the sad part is, as long as Taya brings in face-down monsters, I cannot get any attack for Thousand Eyes Restrict. Wait a minute, how come I can't attack? Is that part of the special ability? Other monsters! Oh my god, that works against me as well! I completely overlooked that. So, that... Wait a minute, I should have attacked! Then I would have absorbed it! Well, it's not going to matter. Because remember, she can't attack either. I think that kind of screwed me over. I got an idea. I'm definitely going to attack regardless. And then I will just activate its ability. White Dolphin? I don't think that's worth it. I definitely want to wait for a stronger monster. If it's going to be that much of a pain in the ass, I should have at least just 
stuck with something else. Ooh, United We Stand. It only powered it up by 1300. It's not a whole lot. I'm gonna send you the thousand hands? I'll definitely summon you. Yes, I want to transfer Hungry Burger. Because I do have at least two of these. Okay, Thousand Eyes Restrict is not working for me. So I'm definitely going to have to offer you to make up for my shortcomings. I don't want to offer any of these, though. If I offer Send You the Thousand Hands, I gotta offer one more monster. So I got rid of Thousand Eyes Restrict because it was actually working against me. I should have known better than to use that. That was completely my fault. For overlooking the uh, special ability, thinking it worked against me as well. I was just better off using Relinquished all by itself. So at least my other monsters could still attack. That's a little something to think about for the other duel I plan to have. And this deck was highly requested by multiple people, one of which was complaining that the other person was copying. I don't think that's copying, I guess other people had the same idea. It's not really an original idea to suggest a ritual themed deck, I'm sure ritual themed decks been suggested for a long time. That being said, I think I'm just gonna let it be. Okay, who is it gonna be? Who is it gonna be? Arcana. Alright. Game on. I actually don't have a ritual monster in my hand this time. What's it with Arcana and Water Dragon Fairy he usually starts with? Oh, here's Chakra. Dark Magic Ritual. That's for a Magician of Black Chaos. Hmm. If that's for a Magician of Black Chaos, then I should definitely be using Senju of the Thousand Hands instead, rather than Sonic Bird. So I think that's what I'm going to do. Alright, bring in Magician of Black Chaos. That's a nice bit of attack power right there. But I'm a bit leery, because what if that's a Mirror Force over there? I could find myself screwed. But at least monsters that you successfully Ritual Summon can be brought back with Monster Reborn. If you try to bring them in another way, then it won't work. Okay, so... I think I should actually just end my turn rather than try to defend myself. I'll just wait for another wall to bring in Magician of Black Chaos. Oh, he didn't have anything else. Good. And I'll just play my Jar of Greed. Get one card in my hand. Call of the Haunted. That's actually very good. In case Magician of Black Chaos falls... Oh, no. Oh, never mind. Even if he had Ritual Monsters, he can't use uh, Send You the Thousand Hands special ability. Because that was a special summon. Okay, Dark Magic Ritual. Awesome. Um... That was a tough one, actually. I should definitely offer Thousand Eyes Idol. And I'm probably going to offer Chakra. Now, because uh, Chakra was uh, brought to the graveyard and wasn't Ritual Summoned, I can't use Call of the Haunted on it. I think I should summon Witch of the Black Forest instead of, like, Sonic Bird. Then I'll play this face down. And then definitely go for an all-out blitz. Yeah, I should go for the strongest monster, of course. Alright, I'll end my turn. In retrospect, maybe Sonic Bird would have been the better choice to take out that other monster. But at the same time, I'm not too worried. Oh crap, now I should be worried. No, I'm not going to play Call of the Haunted yet. Ah, crap. Now he brought in his evil Dark Magician. But since you sent it to the graveyard, I'm going to use Call of the Haunted to bring it back. There. 
You'll take out my Witch of the Black Forest, but at least I can use its ability now. So what do I want to add to my hand? I think out of all these, Relinquish should be the better choice. Then I can use Sonic Bird to bring in Black Illusion Ritual. This is going to be the perfect move! He's got nothing to protect him. Alright, let's do that. I'll use Sonic Bird to bring in Black Illusion Ritual. Where is it? Up, oh, there it is. Don't want to get confused with Black Luster Ritual. That's completely different. And now, I'll play Black Illusion Ritual. I'll only take in Sonic Bird, bring in Relinquished, and use it to absorb that Dark Magician. Now I can take its attack and defense for my own. And plus, it's no longer on his side of the field, it's on mine. So I should do just enough damage to beat him. By barely 100 points. Oh man, that was that was actually a very good setup. I was proud of that. Alright, I win again! Yeah. That was very resounding. Okay. And you know what? I, I think that's it for the uh, challenge runs of Yu-Gi-Oh! World Championship Tournament 2004. I wanted to at least end on a high note, and one deck that was highly suggested, I decided to finish it off with that. And the deck actually worked out very well, especially in that last turn against Arcana. I could not have asked for a better setup than what I've gotten. Believe it or not, I think Witch of the Black Forest actually did work in my favor... maybe? Y yeah, it did work in my favor, otherwise I wouldn't have had Relinquished in my hand. I was thinking I should have brought in Sonic Bird, but in the end, I actually made the right choice after all. So anyway, stay tuned for more Let's Plays, such as Pokemon Coliseum and Mega Man X7. And this is the Bonga signing off, saying goodbye, Godspeed, and stay tuned for my next Let's Play. Thanks for watching, everybody, and I'll see you next time.